You can now start selling on WordPress using Shopify. Yes, you heard me right. Shopify has introduced Shopify plugin that helps you turn any WordPress blog into an online selling store. I know WooCommerce does pretty much the same thing. But Shopify plugin will offer a more seamless shopping experience for your customers and you. So with this introduction, you can add product in your Shopify store and share them directly to your WordPress site. Or add product in your website and use Shopify plugin as your checkout instead of using WooCommerce. You can also add product to your existing blog post in your WordPress. If you you are wondering how you could use Shopify without you moving your entire website from WordPress to Shopify platform, this is your chance to try out Shopify plugin. Also, if you have issues with WooCommerce plugin, Shopify plugin can be the alternative. Let me show you how to install it. Click the link in the description, it will take you straight to this page. So if you want to turn any WordPress site into an online store powered by the world best converting checkout, this is your opportunity to use Shopify plugin. So click on download plugin and our plugin has been downloaded. Next is to head over to your WordPress website. On your WordPress website, head over to plugin section and click on plugin. Select add plugin. Then click on upload new plugin. Choose a file. Then go to your downloads and click on the Shopify plugin file. Then click install now. Activate the plugin. For you to start using Shopify plugin, you must start a free trial. Just like opening a normal Shopify account, which gives you three days free trial, one dollar per month for the next three months. So we must start our free trial. But if you already have an existing Shopify store, you can simply click connect store but in this case we are going to start a free trial so you click on start free trial come here enter your name information then click on next if everything is done correctly you'll see this dashboard here now for this shopify plugin to work after installing it in your wordpress website you need to head over to shopify app store then search for sell on wordpress then click on install. Then it will appear under your sales channel as shown. You can pin it if you want. Remember, we are going to use this Shopify access token back in our WordPress website for it to connect to our Shopify store and for it to start reading the product we've just created in, in our Shopify store. If the installation is done correctly and you go to your product session in your Shopify store and open any product, You'll see by default the specific product is now available in two sales channels either your online Shopify store channel or sell on WordPress, which means you'll be able to access this specific product or the collection in a Shopify store on your WordPress website using Shopify plugin. Now, before we start showing our products and collection from Shopify on our WordPress website, we must ensure that we do, we must ensure that. All these steps are done. Adding product, setting up your Shopify payments or as payment of your choice, reviewing shipping ratings, and also decide where a customer go after checkout. Do you do you have a redirect link that you want them to go to? And before you go live, pick a plan. Remember, it is three days free trial, then one dollar per month. The next step is for us to show the product we just created plus the existing product in our Shopify store to be displayed on our WordPress website. You can either choose to display a specific product or display a specific collection. You can decide to create a standalone page for your products or add products to existing blog posts and pages in your WordPress website. In this case, I'm going to create a new page to add a specific product and also demonstrate how to add collection to your WordPress pages. So we click on so we click on create a page, then give the page a name, it can be store or specific product name. If you have to add a product X, just call it product X. Then since we are using the blog editor, not the default WordPress classic editor you simply come to this plus sign you click on add a blog then in the search bar just type shopify then it will give you two options add a shopify product or add a shopify collection so let's first add a shopify product click on add shopify product now the shopify product template by default is m you need to search a specific product how do you do it you come on the product search bar you click on it 
all the product in your Shopify store will appear here by default. So it is up to you to choose the product that you want to display. So I'll just choose the first one and boom, our product is now showing in our WordPress website. If there's anything you want to add about the product, you can do so. But for this purpose, I'll just click on publish and boom, our product is live on our WordPress account. So the dimension of the product depends on the content that is on the page. This page was empty. So that is why this product image is this big. We can as well add a collection. So let's delete this product and add a collection. So we are going to do the same thing. Add blog, then type Shopify, add Shopify action. Then on the sidebar now, we have to search for the Shopify collection we want to add it depends with the collection you created in your shopify store you can decide on how many products per row and the maximum product per page so this is our collection that has been extracted from our shopify store so you simply click you can name the collection if you want as bestseller trending then you save the moment you save be able to view this product and boom remember this was a demo shopify account so you cannot complete checkout so there's no payment gateway added in the shopify account so you can add this to existing blog just go to your blog editor click on the plus sign, scroll down or search add shopify product or add shopify collection do the same thing let's say add shopify collection select the shopify collection you want to feature click on it then boom collection will appear in the article automatically you can control how many products you want to display you can say three then you just show three products maximum three products depending on your setting and the number of products when a reader or customer comes to a specific blog they'll be able to buy either product or service directly on your wordpress website download it install it and try it out let me know in the comment section any question that you might have concerning shopify plugin See you in the next video.